average and a 9.69 save percentage. That's your Attleboro Sport and Spine chiropractic goaltending matchup of the game. Two generals, two hat tricks in the battle in the near side corner of the general zone. With just under nine minutes to go in this first period, Ranchenko a shot from the blue line. Popped in front, they score. It's Oleg Egoro. His third goal of the season. And the hat tricks jump out to a 1 0 lead. You also stay here and follow along as the Generals look to tie this game before the first intermission. It's 1 0 hat tricks. They do it there. How about it? Sean Gorman, the APT player to watch, finds the back of the net. And the Generals. Tie the game up at one. We'll take a look at it on our Mass General Brigham replay. Died Igorov into the offensive end. A native of St. Petersburg, Russia, scored the hat trick goal back in the first period. Regains his feet. Finds possession in the near side corner. Back up the blue line it goes towards True, who's now down on the half wall. Long shot from Tamporo. Back in front, Igorov scores. <laughs> on the power play. Presented by Mass General Brigham. You'll see Igorov in the middle of the slot here. Pops into your screen and just lost in no man's land. And Luke Fundator, it's going to be tough to stop those when they're alone in front of you. To Nuzzalillo. Matthew Nuzzalillo back to Recupero. Up to Nuzzalillo with a step. Matthew Nuzzalillo, pump fake, he scores! <laughs> Matthew Nuzzalillo. Ties the game for the Generals. Let's take a look at it on the Mass General Brigham replay. Back to Recupero through the neutral zone as Alillo, who doesn't like what he saw. He leaves it back for him. And he'll get himself between the defense and alone. Fakes the shot, goes to the backhand, and finds the back of the net. Fire. Rebound goes behind the net into the near side corner. Ranchenko up to the blue line. Tommy Lubin across the way to Freire. Frary, a long shot, blocked in front. Now Kinney, backside, Baskin a try, blocked, rebound, loose, Maruli scores. <laughs> Nolan Maruli gives the Generals their first lead of the game. Our Mass General bring them replay. And they don't ask where you score them from, they just ask that you score them, and Maruli did just that. Getting the rebound on the Baskin shot. When Nikki and True work together to gain possession, but it's given right back to the Generals. Now Caden Hess and Mac Reed hard on the forward check. Reed finds it between the legs. A nice move by the defenseman. Reed finds it again. He scores! Mac Reed on a solo effort. And the Generals lead by two. Let's take a look at it on the Mass General Brigham replay. It's Reed and Hess on the four check. Reed gets it in the far side corner. Looking for Hess again. The two can't connect. Now look, nice little play by the defenseman between the legs. Regains it again and throws it to the far corner of the net, making it 4-2 Generals, a shorthanded goal. Michael Locke gives chase, taken by Nazalillo once more. With speed through the neutral zone into the offensive end. Finds Caden Hess. Make that Braden Kennedy. Now Nolan Zotter. Zotter, a try, he scores! <laughs> Nolan Zotter finds the back of the net on the power play. Generals lead 5-2. to two. <laughs> Let's take a look at our Mass General Brigham replay and how this happens. The behind the net cam. Kennedy throwing it across. Watch Nolan Zotter at the top of your screen. He'll come down a little bit and picks that far corner. 5-2, Jens Lee with a power play goal. For Zotter, it's his fourth goal of the season. Mac Reed picks up assist number 13, point number two of the game. 
And Matthew Nezzalillo, another assist, and now Sean Gorman scores. Off the faceoff, the Generals strike again, and they're blown and open, they lead 6-2. Another match, General Brigham replay will start all the way back off the center ice faceoff. The Hattricks had won it. Generals quickly gain possession, make their way into the Hattrick zone on that far side is Hess, thrown off the back wall. And our APT player to watch, Sean Gorman, remaining in the frame. Tommy Lubin off the wall, up to Matthew Nuzzolillo. Nuzzolillo puts the brakes on, finds Braden Kennedy, and it goes to the far side corner, where first one on it is Tyler Christian. Christian taken away. Kinney, redirected, Nuzzolillo, he scores. And what can only be described as a pitch in slow pitch softball, it kind of just trickled its way through the slot. We'll take a look at it. Mass General Brigham replay. There's a little behind the net. Puck goes up the far side wall. Kinney throws it on net, and it just found its way off of Nuzzolillo's stick and into the back of the net. His second of the game, 13, 12th of the season. Nuzzolillo, now Kennedy is shot, turned aside by DeMeo. Back on the near side wall. Mac Reed holds possession. Back to Nuzzolillo, back up to Reed. Top of the circle, Reed, Nuzzolillo, holds, looks, Reed. Top of the circle, a shot, he scores! Mac Reed makes it 8-2, to two, gents. With 1.02 to play in regulation, the Gens strike on a five on three. Barring any late stage heroics, we'll pick up this win eight to two over the Hattricks. And so the standings should look pretty similar to what they did coming into today. Nolan Zotter with five seconds, throws one wide of the net, and it goes out of the zone, and that will do it. So the Generals pick up their 10th win in 11 games. Their third win against the Hattricks this season. And they win this game by a final score of 8-2 to two with all of the fireworks that you could ever imagine.